Welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Hope you're going really well. Today I want to share with you the art of delegation. Now this was a question that was posed to us. So before I get in, side note, any topics, any questions that you may have that you'd like to be seen and featured in a Monday Motivation, simply send us an email or a message always happy to answer them. So this was the question, how do, we, how do we delegate properly? Because it's something that we find is a challenge in a lot of organizations. And I wanna share the three reasons as to why, so then you've got a strategy to go ahead and implement. Because we all know that delegation is really important for productivity, for efficiency, but also to free up some time and sometimes to give a better result to our clients, okay? So number one, a false belief that we sometimes fall into is the fact that we can do it better. We can do it better than the other person. So what we do is we say, oh, I might as well just do it myself because I can do it better, faster, smarter, whatever it may be. And, and while it's important to play on your strengths, what it can mean though is an underdeveloped team around you where your workload can spike and you get pulled away from what you actually do best because you want to hold on to everything, okay? It's a false belief. There's plenty of people out there that can do things better than you. So make sure you spend your time tripling down on your own strengths, but make sure other people are there to shine in theirs as well. So make sure you don't get caught in this. The other reason is, they, is, is based on time, saying it's just gonna be faster if I do it myself. But what you fail to realize is the ROTI, return on time invested. Same as anything, you know, you put money away in a, in a stock or a bond or whatever it may be, over time there's a percentage that it'll, it'll grow. Time is the same thing. If you invest time into the people around you, helping them to develop better processes, understand what you're trying to do, eventually you get that time back. Of course you're gonna be faster than them at the beginning because you have the experience. The question was, the question I had for you though is if you went back in time, how fast were you in the beginning? So invest the time, you might have to spend three hours training, you know, but what if that saves you ongoing three hours per week? You do the maths, you're gonna get so much time back over the course of the year. But here's the main reason why we don't delegate well. It's because we haven't developed good process. This is the fastest and easiest and best way to develop pro, uh, delegation, is to ensure you've got a process to teach someone. Really the problem here is one, you don't have something to follow, so you just hang on to it. But two, you don't communicate it well, okay? So maybe you should book in some time with your team to work out, okay, with the client in the center of our world, Okay, everything revolves around the client. What can we do to develop better processes to ensure we all do it, we all spend our best time doing what we do best to ensure the client gets the best experience possible? Perhaps you should book in some time in your week to sit around a boardroom table, get a flip chart and map it out. Because when you've got a clear process to follow, you don't make the mistakes, you won't have the fear that it's gonna let the client down because you can do it better. And most importantly, you're gonna get so much efficiency. I recently read an article from Elon Musk where he talks about that there's no real hierarchy in his company, uh, particularly in Tesla. He says anyone can email anyone, anyone whether they're right down here can email the CEO because what we're really about is putting the client first, ensuring that they get the best possible experience but also solve the problems in the most efficient way. That my friends is almost a form of delegation is it doesn't matter remove the ego about it, particularly in these two. Find out what's gonna make the client shine, do that, regardless of who it is. But the key here, invest in it. Might be a bit of hard yards for the first two or three, four weeks, but I guarantee in a year's time, the whole thing will be a bit better. So I hope that helps you. I hope that shows you some of the gaps you might have and what you can do about it. Most importantly, go ahead and implement. And if there's any way I can serve you more in the meantime, just say the word, shoot me an email, uh, send me a message, always happy to help. And I'll see you on the next Monday Motivation really soon.